Howdy folks, Todd here with Gridscape Farms. I am standing in front of a pawpaw tree that is in full bloom, just blooms all over this thing. And you'll notice here is a leaf. It is not quite leafing out yet. It gets the blooms first and the blooms generally start out a greenish color like this right here. And then they turn purple and a little bit more purple as they go from female to male. So the uh, flowers themselves or the trees are self incompatible. And what that means is kind of like an apple tree, they need to cross pollinate with another variety. So we have to have another variety of pawpaw around or a different type of gene pool, if you will. So one flower will not pollinate another and the flowers actually have male and female parts and one flower and although they are viable at different times even though this flower might be viable and that one might be viable one is a female one is a male they will not cross pollinate again because they need to cross pollinate with another and I have another tree right here and we'll go over and take a look at that one in a second but that would be a different variety and we can cross pollinate those so we are going to hand pollinate these and let me talk a little bit more about the flowers so uh, the first phase you have a female with a stigma and let me see if I can twist this up and hopefully zoom in here and you can see the little green things in the center those are the stigma and it is viable right now for pollen and once the male part starts which would be around the center the yellow it's not there yet it will look a little different and we'll take a look at one of those in just a second here so what we're going to do is we're going to collect pollen from another variety and bring it over here and we're going to use a painter's brush and we're just going to go ahead and paint some pollen on there and go ahead and pollinate this so when it goes from the female like this which is the upper one and you can see the one right below it closest to my hand there is just starting to change over to uh, the pollen parts and you'll notice that we come back up this was the one that is full on female right here and this one is changing over to the male parts you'll notice the petals are starting to uh, flare out a little and that's how you can tell, or it gives you kind of a hint on where to look for the males. Let me see if I can bend this over without hurting the tree at all. And you'll notice that the pollen parts around the outside are in full bloom. It, it looks kind of dusty in there and petals themselves are out real far. And the male part is called the stamen and that is what will give us the pollen for the other plant. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take this paintbrush right here and I am going to I'll set up on this tripod here in a minute and I'm going to try to get some pollen in here from that plant. As a matter of fact, let's go over there and we'll take a look at that one real quick. So you'll see I have flowers here. I think I have two or three of them here that are giving pollen right now. So not a whole lot. Most of my trees, I have about six that are in bloom right now. Most of them are in the female part right now, although I do have other flowers coming behind it. So I'm kind of early in the season, but I want to pollinate as much as I can and see if I can get some good fruit production this year. So me... Okay. I hate doing it this way, but I had to go ahead and remove the flower from the tree because there was no way I could set up on there and you can see all the pollen just fell off right there onto the, the leaf and we're getting a good bit here so I'm kind of happy about that. You can see there's a whole bunch of pollen here and not too much on the brush. Yeah I can get it on the brush. So. Okay, hopefully you can see this. I have a bunch of pollen on the brush here and I'm going to have to actually bend the plant down here and just rub the pollen all up in there. Okay, I hate wasting blooms, but I went ahead and pulled off another bloom here. This one is a female. And I'm going to pull the petals off so we can see what's going on inside. And there we go. So that's what it looks like. And 
get some pollen on here. And when I rub the pollen on, you can see that's actually sticking to the stigma there. And that's hard to see with the petals on and everything. So this would have been a pollinated flower, but of course I had to pull it off to show this, so it's not, but that's what it looks like. That's what we're looking for on the inside of the flower. Figure while I'm pulling flowers off here, so that is the female. This is the male. So let me go ahead and see if I can pull this off. So you can see the difference between the two here. So this is the female. This is the male parts. Again, we have both on here. And you can see as I come in, I just basically brush off the pollen, and that would go into my container here. And then I will go out and share that with other flowers on other pawpaws, other varieties. So unfortunately, the camera doesn't show this very well, but there's actually yellow pollen on here, and it doesn't help that this is kind of a yellowish brush. But the yellow stuff is the pollen that we want. The brown stuff is just part of the male parts of the flower. So the yellow is the pollen that actually pollinates it. Okay, I went ahead, I pollinated all the flowers that were viable and that I wanted to. I wanted it to be closer to the stalk. So if we do get heavy fruit, it doesn't break off. So I didn't pollinate the ones on the end. And the remaining pollen, and this is an Allegheny variety. So this is pollen from an Allegheny. I will put in the refrigerator and it will last for a week or so and I can pollinate some more flowers as they become available in the next week. And again, I can pollinate anything except for an Allegheny with this because this is Allegheny pollen and I need to cross pollinate with another variety. Well, we are one month later and things have certainly greened up a lot. You'll see the pawpaw tree itself has a lot of leaves here. Before I get into that, make sure you check out the show notes on how to save seeds for pawpaw, as well as how to propagate and grow those seeds out and stratify and things like that. So we will include all those links in the show notes. Now on to the update here. I only got around to pollinating it once. Didn't come back a second time, but you can see there's a lot of fruit on here all over the place here and here at various different levels. You'll notice that there's different numbers of fruit here. Each individual flower can have multiple different fruit in it or can have fruit, multiple fruit. Here's one where we only got one. So it depends on how many actually get pollinated. You see just all kinds of fruit. There's one, here's one here, one behind it. There's one, well, so that about wraps it up for this video. Make sure you check out some of our playlists as well about how to propagate other plants.